What is going on guys today? We are looking at man of the match Cavani absolutely storming it at United is doing it really really well obviously scoring plenty of goals as we go through to the next round of the Europa and if we you know what we, we are scraping the barrel this week with players so we're going to be doing quite a few of these uh, man of the matches we will do as many of them as possible or at least any of the good ones that is so expect them we have got an icon review still to do until we get into team of the season which we should be absolutely flying looking at Cavani's coming in at around about 50 to 55k on all consoles no well power header as the kind of trait injury prone not really anything amazing obviously we've got the pace that is quite low so you are looking probably at like a, a catalyst engine hunter style someone has said shadow but that has only got 15 votes so for me he's already got great finishing so you wouldn't really want to be putting a hunter on him too much I suppose it would make him into a 90 rated striker. Engine would give you 81 pace. I still think you need at least a hunter or a catalyst at the very, very minimum. So I would leave it up to you. I probably would just go straight out hunter. Gives him 86 pace and 94 shooting. Obviously, he'll end up with 83 acceleration and 88 sprint speed. So still not amazing. We did get a 90 rated flashback way, way back then. So if you have completed that, this card is pretty irrelevant for that. Um, obviously, that had the big pace upgrade. So I'm expecting to feel a little bit slower in comparison this time. Um, obviously, shooting is going to be fantastic. He is a three star, four star, and he has got a bit of strength, bit of aggression. Dribbling wise, bar from the agility balance is pretty nice. And obviously, the dribbling stat on there. Passing wise, Again, he's looking very mediocre in terms of a striker. And in terms of kind of like a versatile striker, someone who can pass, someone who has the pace, the dribbling, he is more of a shooter. That predominantly what he does. That That is the kind of Cavani way. He will score goals. He just probably won't be able to do the rest of the stuff, which in this point of the game... I feel like this card is just going to be straight fodder. And that's just the truth straight off the bat. So let's just see what he's all about. I feel like I can kind of get a grips to him and see if there is anything different that I like about him. But without further ado, let's jump in. Get a ball into Cavani. He's going to get out-headed in the box, though. Into Cavani running forward. Oh, Kaliba's going to take it away from him. He is a cracking defender. I feel like he's playing him at centre-back as well. Cavani. Oh... Go with a little roulette. Get the shot off. Varane's going to take it. Can we get it back to him? And this is where the four-star skills really comes in useful. Being able to obviously get the drag. Being able to do the Berber spin with a little bit more kind of finesse on it. We're going to get the simple one-two into the heel to heel. Cavani's left it open. And even with the defender coming across, it is a cracking finish from our man Cavani. Into Cavani again. And that, that pretty much sums him up from that first goal. We have kind of a few things that are certain in life. And that is strikers that are like six foot something are always going to have beautiful finishing as we get a second. He just is a finisher. Doesn't have anything else. It is literally just get him in front of goal, give him the ball, and he'll score. Cavani with a massive challenge, wins the ball back, lovely, and gets the ball down the wing. You love to see it. And Cantona is going to try against Gunter. Double in. Is he onside? Cavani makes it again. Back-to-back -back goals. Beautiful stuff. Cavani is making that run. Gets the touch. Sees off the defender. That Why did he not fall down? I feel like the animation skipped a frame there. As literally that was going straight for his legs. It would have been a penalty. But he tries. Just manages to kind of get the uh, the keeper's attention from it. Doesn't manage to find the pocket as much as he wants. And I feel like, oh, that was going to be a great ball if it went in front of him. Cavani. Going to see that through ball straight into Cantona. He's going to go across. Oh, nearly outside of the foot. Get it into the sniper himself. He's going to see in Bruno back to Cavani. We're going to go with that finesse. Ah, I forgot. So if we do go into Cavani's overall then, he is dropping 53k, 50k. Obviously his 84 is coming in at 14. Obviously only an 84. We did get his um, flashback, which was a 400k SBC. To be honest, it's not an awful SBC. Um, it was expensive for the time. But again, a 90 rated flashback with great pace. You kind of love to see it. This version, it's nice. It's okay. As, as a United fan, amazing. But 
it's just not going to cut the cheeses. It really is not going to be amazing. He is uh, necessarily just fodder. That is predominantly what he is. No, Not really enough pace on him, and that's one thing that I did notice. Especially we went against two four at the back teams and one five at the back. As soon as you put an extra defender in there, he struggles even more so because the pace, you've got to get past three players if you are with him. So it's constant pass and move. Yes, he would be quite nice with someone who is a little bit more nippy if we're thinking Prem. We're thinking, I'm thinking like a Mane, I'm trying to think of strikers who are kind of more nippy. Um, I'm thinking more of the lines, like maybe like a Zaha, maybe a St. Max, somebody who is a little bit smaller, obviously a lot quicker. Rashford as just the meta in general would be quite nice, but he does need a specific type. And that is kind of like Cavani through and through, not the quickest, not the most kind of like technical, but as a shooter, as we saw straight off the bat, fantastic stuff. And I don't know if we did in the flashback one go through his kind of career, but you just look at the man. He is, what, 34? He's been on FIFA for quite some time now with some very, very interesting cards from Man of the Matches to Team of the Seasons, Informs. We've got a Footies. We've got uh, a team of, what is that, uh, SBC. We've got Player of the Months, Footies again. Um, I think one of them's an SBC, in fact, again. Obviously, wrote to the finals last year. That actually looks sick. I, did, I can't even remember that one, to be honest. And obviously, the dynamic would be a little bit different. But in general, he is very, very good. He's had a wonderful career. And hopefully, we do see him kind of like continue in style. He's been doing really well. And wow, did he just drop down 10K? That may be someone listing that up and no one else is buying. But that is pretty much what he is. I think fodder is the best way to go with him. Unfortunately, if you do at the 100%, Hunter, it's not awful like 83 88 is not like completely unusable but there is so many players out there that are 10 times more statted in that area and obviously just as cheap to be honest 40k you could get some decent strikers for that really with a bit more pace obviously passing i'm not too fussed about it is mainly kind of like that dribbling side of stuff and the pace that really kind of ruined it for me his finishing his shooting and everything was absolutely spot on Obviously, he is a great finisher of the ball, but unfortunately, just not quite in this game. And then obviously not having the four-star skills or really any usable uh, shooting traits, that would always be a nice one as well. Overall-wise, I'm going to just give him a solid eight. I don't think he deserves any higher in this. I really can't see many people using him. If anything, his flashback is actually quite decent in comparison to this. Like That's only four ratings higher, and you're never going to get that same pace result. But hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And if you would like to leave a comment on have you got any Man of the Match preference for this week's reviews, let me know down below and I will see you all for the next one. Peace.